Hey guys, Ace and Gia. So for this review, we're looking at Don Guy, who's finally level 200, and he's my second blue level 200. So for this review, we're looking at his NAD build, SAD build, the hybrid build, and CDR build, and we're doing the four star Yami rate on the highest difficulty. So take a look at his stats, we got stamina 1006, which is really decent. Attack 740, which I think is the third or second highest in the game. I believe it's third though. Defense 351, Focus 308, and SP 592. Unfortunately, not above 600, but it's still fine. So take a look at his NAD build. We got double chap with 20% attack. A captain's drop with 20% attack. So all up, we got 1,406 attack, which is insane. And we got two 20% normal attack damage links and a 25% normal attack damage link. So all up, we got 85%. So that's including his own 20% normal attack link. So no boosters, no friends. I'm sorry, two gun. And let's see how he plays. Alrighty, starting off with his NAD. Wow, I saw 4,192. I want to say 4k average or 4.8. First strong attack, even though we've got zero SP, that's about 650. Second, that's about 1k. And third strong attack, about 700 per hit. Well, I saw 5k there. We got punished. But yeah, his normal attack speed is much faster. I think that Dungai is probably a better PvE unit than uh, Blue Kenpachi, but. Blue Kenpachi definitely wins in the PvP. So we have some nice droplets. I need heaps of them. So damage is pretty nice on this guy. So the first two hits he does, hits a bit low in terms of damage. He does about 2k. But the last couple of hits hit really hard. Plus, Dungai, everyone knows Dungai for his amazing move pool. So it should be an interesting hybrid build at 200. So I believe this is the third section. Look at that. One or two hits and he's dead. Wow, I saw 6,100 there. Really high. Especially if I have uh, a blue gold trap here, this guy will be insane in terms of damage. Alrighty, and now it's Yami's turn. So I will use my special to see how much damage it does. It's about 700 per hit, pretty decent. But wow, I saw 7,000. And we get punished. Alright, no Yami drop, but that's alright. Let's just see how fast we did this. Definitely another 2 minutes. I'm 100% sure of it. Yeah, 1 minute 46, a new record. So that's really, really quick. Unfortunately, one droplet, but next we'll look at the SAD build. So take a look at his SAD build. Yes, I finally got some better SAD gear. I got every color of the Yuki's, which I'm really happy about. So first gear is the Yuki with 6% attack. It's not the best second effect, probably one of the worst, but give me some time and I'll finally get a decent reroll. Attention entire 20% SP and a 2016 news card with 10% SP as well. And three 20% strong attack damage links. So he's got a real decent amount of SP, about, I want to say, 900, just above 900. No friends, and I'm sorry, Sega. And let's see how he does. Alrighty. First strong attack, about 1,200 per hit, which is not bad. Second strong attack, about 2k. And third is about 1,500. This is normal attack damage. So, I want to say about 1,800 average. First. Two hits are weak, like we saw with the NAD build. But really nice, strong attack damage. And regardless, still hits pretty hard with his normal attack. This one absolutely destroys him. And these mobs are the worst. I probably said that in every video, but honestly, I hate them so much. Good thing they're not in the inheritance zone. So I believe the NAD run was 1 minute 47. Let's see if we can beat that. So we're not going to do any crits just because we've got the Yuki which sets our focus to zero. And I accidentally cancelled the animation of the first strong attack. So 
So far, so good. His move was so nice for PvE. Maybe not his first one, his first strong attack. Maybe up close it's really nice. But his second and third are really nice crowd control ones. So this one you have to move real close, which sucks, but it is what it is. If I had that forward get to the Tenchu, like four big Ichigo, it's we made it much better as a PvE unit. Alright, so boss time. So I'm pretty sure with the Tenshin Toe we can nuke the boss. I don't think we're gonna need that soul bomb. So I'll just gotta skip it straight away. Yeah, wow. Six to seven K damage. Let's see the time. So exactly two minutes on the dot. So about 13 seconds difference. Not really significant. But let's check out the hybrid build. So taking a look at his hybrid build, we got the Yuki with 6% attack, a 27 use card with 10% SP, and the Captain's Rover with 20% attack. So all up we're getting 36% attack and 40% SP, which is really nice, it's a real nice balance. 6 star and 5 star Frenzy Ichigo, and Frenzy Renji, which has 18% normal attack damage and minus 10% recharge time. So as hybrid as you can get, so let's see how fast you can do this. So I'm sorry CC. Alrighty, so normal attack damage, about 2,900 average. Second strong attack, 1,800 average. Third is about 1,300, which is really nice. And first is about 1,100 average. Wow, we only got one hit in there. That's terrible. But a really nice bounce between damage. And you can one shot. Although this is a 4 star raid, so just keep that in mind. And he's got 0 focus as well, so he can't really crit. So if you crit, you're obviously going to do more damage and increase the chances of one-shotting. So, so far so good. And those mobs are really annoying. So unfortunately, no decent strong attack. See if we can one shot around the rider. Oh, so close. So it takes two. I wonder if we can one shot the boss with our tension type. But I will get the second soul bomb just in case. Don't want to waste time. And nice. All right, third strong attack. Shouldn't one shot all these guys. Yep. Done. Nice and smooth. Alrighty. Hopefully we can one shot. Give up attention time. Oh, so close. That was so close. I didn't see what dropped from Yami. Hopefully a free 4 star. Nope. And 1 minute 36. So 11 seconds faster than NAD build. So really, really nice. One build to go and that's the CDR build. So taking a look at his CDR build. We've got the exact same gear as the SAD build. However, now we've got 3... Negative 5% strong attack recharge time, so all up 36%. So approximately a third of the time of the cooldown time is neglected, which is really nice. This guy has a really nice move pool, except for his first strong attack like I mentioned previously. So about 900 SP, about 850 attack, which is really nice. But let's see if he can beat the hybrid build. Alrighty. So second strong attack has 11 second cooldown. I didn't see how much damage it did exactly. First strong attack has 5 seconds and over 800 damage. Well, it was doing some insane damage. But I don't think this recharge time can keep up. But I didn't see how much damage his first strong attack did. So, second is about 1500. Third is about 1200 and a 16 second cooldown. So, his normal attack damage isn't going to change with like the SAD build. So we've got the exact same gear and no links that affect normal attack damage. But yeah, we did get paralyzed just before. So that might play a role in the time. 
Oh, should be fine. I definitely still see him doing under two minutes. Yeah, you can't keep up if he's recharged time. And still doesn't watch up on land either. Alrighty. Boss time? No, it's not. I keep mistaking that for boss. Maybe he's doing this so fast. <laughs> Let's do this real quick. And this guy has so much crazy attack that he still does decent damage without any dealings. So we do have our tension tie and we can nuke the boss. We'll do that really quickly. There we go. So let's see how fast that was. I think it might be slower just because of the um, paralysis. So 1 minute 55, actually faster than that. SAD build. You would expect that since he can one shot. So overall, this character is an absolute beast no matter what build you use. If you want to use a CDR build, I highly recommend that you use the Frenzy Biakia Link, which is 18% strong attack damage and negative 10% cooldown reduction time. So you're sacrificing 2% cooldown reduction time for 18% strong attack damage, which is a really nice bargain. It's really good as well if you're doing higher raids, for like example the five star raids. Because in the 4 star raids when using the pure CDR build, he does one shot enemies. But if you want to do a 5 star raid, you have a higher chance of one shotting enemies with that 18% increased damage. Plus regardless of one shotting or not, I think it is the better link just because you have increased damage and 2% cooldown reduction time isn't a massive difference. So it'll be much better for the 5 star raids, the inheritance zone or the extreme co-op. Surprisingly though, I thought the NAD build would be the fastest build but it was actually the hybrid build. And that's maybe because I finally have better gear for SP. So it beat the NAD build by 11 seconds. So the NAD build was 1 minute 37, oh sorry, 1 minute 47, while the hybrid build was 1 minute 36. The SAD build was the slowest at 2 minutes. So if you want to lean more towards his strong attacks, I'd say go with the hybrid build of bouncing up between attack and SP or CDR and strong attack damage, like I mentioned previously. However guys, if you enjoyed this video, like and subscribe for more Bleach Brave Source content and enjoy your day.